Hey guys, Neely here. It is February 28th. So last day of February, March starts tomorrow and I am getting a head start on my freezer cooking for March. Usually I can't do a whole lot to get started until after my first of the month grocery shopping trip. But if you saw my weekly hauls and budget tracking video that I posted a couple of days ago or yesterday, I forget. Um, you will remember that I got a great deal on whole chickens right at the end of the month and I had enough in the budget left to go ahead and get my March chickens at the end of February. So I have them all ready and I got them all defrosted and I'm going to go ahead and break all those down, get them, um, the different pieces packed away into the different Ziploc bags for the different meals throughout the month. And that will give me a great head start on everything for next month. One of the biggest drawbacks to once a month grocery shopping is trying to find room in the fridge when you get home after your once a month trip, usually I'm coming home with a huge load and having eight whole chickens that need to get refrigerated right away because um, I can't just come home and start working on them. I have to deal with life and kids and, you know, cooking dinner that night. So usually I don't get started on them until like the next day or even two days later. And so my fridge is just packed to the gills and um so this is really nice i'm gonna try to keep this momentum of being a little bit ahead and maybe towards the end of this month i will try to do the same thing if i can find a good deal again i got these for 85 cents a pound at our grocery outlet which is the best deal that i have ever found on whole chickens i think um, so i definitely didn't want to pass that up because it's kind of a hit and miss thing where you don't know for sure if they're going to have them or not. So anyways, I am getting started with getting these broken down. I have, um, I'm going to use the breast and the breast tenderloin for um, chicken strips or chicken nuggets. And then I'm going to chop up the chicken thighs. I'm going to take the bones out and the skin off and chop those up for soup. So they'll be all chopped up in freezer bags, uh, ready to go in the freezer and then ready to pull out for like wild rice soup and stuff. And then um, the legs I'm going to put all together, or the drumsticks I'm gonna put all together for lemon pepper drumsticks. And oh, and the wings I'm gonna um, chop up into the indiv individual portions and get those ready for buffalo wings. So breaking down eight chickens takes a little bit of time. Once you get the hang of it, um, you, you can get pretty fast at it, but still eight is a lot. So it takes some time. Um, I do have a video on breaking down a whole chicken. I'll link that up in the cards, but I wanted to show you, I just ordered this on Amazon. It's just, it's really simple and I should have ordered it a long time ago. Um, it's just a simple cell phone holder. So I am going to start a show on my phone or YouTube videos. Um, and have this sitting there and I can watch it and um, kind of zone out a little bit doing this monotonous work and have some fun at the same time. So I am going to get going. So I timed myself with these eight chickens and to get from start to this point right here took me one hour and 15 minutes. So it's totally doable. Like during baby's nap time, um, it's just kind of a monotonous job. Uh, but once you get it done, it is so nice to have done for the rest of the month. I have three big bags of bones for broth. I have a giant bag of wings, giant bag of drumsticks and then the chicken breasts will be for the chicken strips and chicken nuggets and then all of the chopped up chicken thighs i will um, portion out into quart size ziploc bags and get those frozen for soups and stir fries and whatever else we feel like 
for the month. Hey guys, it is March 3rd now and I took the last couple days off of freezer cooking because I have been busy. Let's see, the first is the one I went grocery shopping so I didn't get any cooking done that day and then yesterday was Thursday which is um, Classical Conversations Day so I did not get anything done um, yesterday either. So I'm going to try to get a good amount done today. I um, have... My priority is to get the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I have all the stuff sitting on my table there ready to get worked on. And the breakfast burritos. And those are my priorities because my mom and sister are coming into town tomorrow. Um, it was kind of a weird situation. My brother, who lives here in Oregon, was going to have to have a procedure done at the hospital and a five-day stay in the hospital and recover and all that. And uh, my mom and sister were coming to help out during that time they are coming from texas and then at the last minute they were doing a biopsy for my brother to try to get a diagnosis but then at the last minute they were able to get a diagnosis a different way so now he doesn't actually have to go through that um five day hospital craziness which is a good thing um but my mom and sister are still coming so we're kind of just gonna have a fun week and a half to hang out and do all kinds of stuff with um all the girls we're gonna have girls time my poor husband um, but he's busy with work anyway. He can't do a whole lot with us, but we're going to have a fun time. So they are coming tomorrow. All that to say, my sister has celiac disease and, um, so she cannot have wheat and I really would like to get all of the wheat stuff, the PB and J's and the breakfast burritos that have the wheat tortillas. I want to get them all done and tucked away in the freezer so I can pull them out for my husband. Um, but so that they're not in the kitchen cluttering up and causing cross-contamination and all that because I do not want to make my baby sister sick while she is here. Ah! My waffles are... <laughs> my waffles are exploding. I must have filled it too full and they're dripping down. I don't know, you guys probably noticed it before I did. I was just talking and it was bubbling out there. Oh my goodness. Oh well gonna clean that up. <laughs> so I am making my last batch of waffle mix out of the freezer right now from last month and um, those are the grain-free waffles and so I'm gonna be doing another big batch of those like the big batch of waffle mix where I make four or five um, bags of mix to use throughout the month but I am not gonna do that right away that's something I can do while my sister is here no problem um, and she the, those are the kind of things that she can eat so having those recipes like the um, Dutch baby pancakes and the waffles and also the chicken strips that are grain free that I make. Those are all great recipes to have while she's here. So um, I'm going to work on the wheat stuff first, get that all tucked away in the freezer and then I can kind of do the rest um, as I have time. The waffles I'll probably wait until next week um, like after I am running low on this batch because we just are having a batch done. So um, what I hope to get done today is the PB&Js, the breakfast burritos, and possibly the chicken strips also if I can get there. Tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot in the kitchen just because I'm going to be cleaning and getting the room ready for my sister to stay and all that. So I'm going to try to get as much done as I can um, today as far as cooking. And i got to go pull those waffles out. What a mess! It even tripped all the way down to the floor. Say, mess. Mess. Yeah, mommy made a mess. You want to show your picture? Wow, what did you make? That's the ice and the sky cream and rainbow. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I'm just cleaning up this big mess here. It was about time to deep clean this part of the cabinet. Callie is doing her rating and I'm about to sit down and start working on some sandwiches and I'm about to get ready, get the stuff ready for the breakfast burritos. Going to scrub some potatoes so I can roast potatoes. And we got all this insanity going on. Why is this Do you see how gross it is? Don't touch it. Oh. What is that? A big potato. Is that a giant one? Yeah. Oh my. It's a big giant. What? Do you think a giant should eat that potato? No. Are you a giant? No. I think you should eat that potato when it's cooked. No. I just wanted to show you this quick trick of cutting potatoes with an apple slicer. Sometimes when you have real round potatoes, it works really well. And you get little wedges like that. And then also the kids love these 
that you can slice and make kind of tater tot shapes. So I'm gonna get all of these cut up and roasted and then we will have some of them for lunch and then I will um, use the rest to dice up and put in the breakfast burritos. Just cooking up the scrambled eggs for the breakfast burritos. I'm doing a couple big batches of scrambled eggs to make sure I have enough for all the burritos and then we'll have some leftover scrambled eggs. Maybe some people will eat them for lunch. Renee especially loves scrambled eggs. Your mouth is still full of waffle. Your leftover waffle from breakfast. Who is that? It's a baby. And mommy, yeah. You need to finish your bite. My goodness, that's a big bite. You gotta stop taking such big bites, girl. All right, I am sitting down now and going to start on the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like to get all of my standing up in the kitchen work done when Renee's up and running around because I'm usually like getting, going back and forth between helping her and doing all the stuff, all the stuff with her. Um, but then after she goes down for a nap, which I just put her down for a nap, I like to do my sit down work because I can actually sit down and stay sitting down until I get it done. I don't have to just get up every two seconds. So I am going to go ahead and get started here. Now I am getting started on the breakfast burritos and one nice thing about doing all of this cooking at one time is that I'm using the same um, equipment here so I only have to clean it once and it saves me some time so let's go. I think I got 26 breakfast burritos, uh, which will last for quite a long time. So that's great. I can always, I have extra tortillas that I'll throw in the freezer and I can always make another batch if I need to towards the middle of the month. We will see. But I definitely am stocked up on PB&Js. And everybody asks whenever I talk about the burritos how I cook them or how I serve them. And what I do is I try to take them out of the freezer like the day before and then they thaw in the fridge and then I grill them before I serve them but um, if I don't remember to take them out a day in advance um, then I will just defrost them in the microwave on like the defrost setting until they're defrosted most of the way and then I will go ahead and grill them on my um, Cuisinart griddler it's kind of like a George Foreman so that is how I cook those and the last thing that's, you know, that I really want to get done that's kind of more urgent is the chicken strips. And I am going to try to get those done this afternoon, but I may not. Um, I, I really need to get the house clean for my sister coming and my mom coming. And I just have a lot of stuff going. But these were the main things that I really wanted to get finished today. And I got those done. So I'm really glad about that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. And when I do the chicken strips, I kind of wanted to do a time lapse of that, of doing all the breading and stuff. I thought that would be fun. And I will add that on Instagram. Um, if you follow me over there, you can see it there. I've been enjoying making those little one minute time, time lapse videos of different things and putting them over on Instagram. That's been really cool. So I plan on doing more of those, including the chicken strips. And I think that is it. This has been a light freezer cooking month. I was so ahead of ahead of things with all of my dinners and all of my meat prep and all that, that I really didn't have a lot of um, freezer cooking to do here at the beginning of the month. And it's worked out really well because I've had a very busy beginning of the month with starting classical conversations and getting ready for company coming. So I'm glad with how things worked out. Did you want to say something, Tal? I was going to say bye then. Oh, bye. oh, you're going to say bye because Renee's down for her nap still. So I was going to say that um, doing these breakfast burritos, maybe 30 minutes, doing the um, PB&Js once everything was pulled out, maybe 30 minutes. So an hour of prep time and I've got 12 breakfasts for my husband and then 20 lunches because he'll eat two PB&Js at a, a lunch. Um, and that's about 40 sandwiches right there with those four loaves. So, I mean, an hour of prep work, as long as you think ahead and buy all of the ingredients, it really doesn't take a long time and you have to have the freezer space. That's the other thing. Um, but as long as you got all that stuff, it really doesn't take that long. And, um, yeah, you can just sit and watch a TV show and you're good. So anyways, that is my freezer cooking for March. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any ideas, other ideas of things that I could add to my freezer cooking routine, anything that you love, um, anything that you'd like me to, you know, work on and share with you guys. I would love to hear that down in the comments. I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye guys.